moving to Winthrop to play uh, for their esports team. But Lima, you know, lived in the land of the Robs in right. the Dallas Fort Worth area. There, there was like six Robs at some point. <laughs> I'm not really sure. There was a lot, but you know, so that matchup is something that Lima has a very good understanding about. So in those one v ones, if we see Lima versus Big Boss, Leo's gonna need to be helping Big Boss a lot more out. That time. I think we can already see the Lima kind of thinking the same thing, going for a few aggressive options and kind of focusing in on Big Boss as well. But it's pretty interesting. Pretty interesting dynamic, I would say. Yeah, certainly. Yeah, so uh, unfortunately, definitely not. Um, yeah, this is. Uh, is it, are we sponsored by Elgato? I think so. I think we have. We think we have a nice Chris sponsorship. But definitely, uh, you know, not something that we have been expecting. They're definitely still going at it though. So yeah, True. They're, they're out here for sure. Then end up <laughs> oh, seeing, okay, and we're, we're back. back. We're back. back. Let's go. Right. Let's go. And the venue goes crazy. We love to and see it. And they were it, nice so. enough not to take any stocks as well, which is so important. Yes. So, okay. And then the Big Boss is like, "All right, we're back. Action." <laughs> yeah. Which and and again, this is why we see we're seeing Big Boss with Chase in the one v ones, which right. is really really helpful uh, because Palu is a lot more common of a character. Obviously, Chag in Mexico is uh, another another Palu that you know everyone in Mexico feels very comfortable playing against. Right. right. So you know this is something. And again. Leo finding Big Boss, uh, fi finding Big Boss, and fi providing help when needed right there against Lima. That's wild. The what the? Yeah. Footstool <laughs> to keep him in and not. Hit. Oh my goodness. I, the way you and I looked at each other. We like, we was, had that moment yeah. of panic and <laughs> sheer awe. Because it, like it was max range for the gyro anyway, but yeah, the footstool to lock Rob down for that smash attack was absolutely wild. What a good adaptation. And Leo holding on to this stock, kind of the X-Factor right now. Only thing keeping it from being dead even. But what a game we're seeing right now. Yeah, definitely a game that we're seeing. One for the books for sure. The blue team trying to find some footing on the center stage, though. Uh, and right now, Big Boss trying to, you know, maybe find something right here. Leo going to lose the first stock right here. Uh, this is a scary situation, though, if you find that down throw Barry with Rob. Either player, definitely dead. And that's why you see the back throw up smash potentially. Not able to work it out, but the follow-ups, crazy. Going to get the stock right here? No. Oh, great Let's awareness see. from Big Boss. Able to maintain, able to help Leo make it back to stage because that side B definitely not going to able to make it back. Not enough horizontal distance. Right, so. right. And that, it was like 40%. That would have been a crucial stock. Still, though, red team keeping that pressure up. They didn't get that early stock from Leo, but they still took the other one from Big Boss. Keeping it close. Holding down center stage too, looking for these 1v1s. And I would say, you know, probably the ones that Blue Team was looking for in terms of matchups. This is the one. Yeah, 100%. but still not looking too favorable for Blue Team in terms of how the 1v1s are going out right now. Yeah, just the thing is, Rob is just kind of combo food for both, for, uh, against both of those characters. So uh, it's definitely going to be kind of coming down to whether or not Leo can, can just kind of push advantage right here. And that's why we see the Rob Barry right there gets that F smash to put. Uh, chase away, but then you know, um, Big Boss able to find that L smash as well onto uh, onto Lima. So slight lead well, for the blue team, but not very not very big. Huge down smash for Big Boss, finding some fantastic hits on the red team, keeping the pressure up. Big Boss has been finding so many good hits and very important ones at that. But it's gonna be Leo sharing that stock. 118 is a dangerous spot to be in, but. Leo looks so comfortable despite how uncomfortable that percentage deficit is. Yeah, great the Ido right there from Chase. Unfortunately, going to be on his lonesome right here against Leo Ooh. and Big Boss. Able to find something right here. The prominence roll going to end up coming through in clutch for Team Mexico. Game number one goes to them. That was kind of wild. Like, good presence of mind. Like, you know, most people are probably worried about recovering, solely recovering in that spot. But... Leo said, no, that is advantage state. Yeah, and hey, that is that is the war cry of our people, okay? Like, you guys have no idea, you know, go back, you know, if you guys follow Chag's content, you know, you go back and watch the Rise and Grind VOD from last year, you're going to hear that same call. <laughs> you're going to hear that same call. That's like the the the, uh, the war call yeah, for yeah. Team Mexico. Like rally and cry, yeah. if you will. Yeah. It's like doubles and everyone just kind of pops in. You know how in uh, Finding Nemo you yeah, have yeah. the, yeah, mine, 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 doubles? Yeah, that's everyone. Everyone's such a big fan. Sure. Obviously, you know, you see those players, you know, obviously to talk a little bit more uh, about the Mexico scene in between games. You know, there's so many, like Javi, Cloudy, Chag, Spargo. Those are, you know, and then Leo, Big Boss 3, like crazy static team. Meister, Sky J. Like, that's four teams that are, like, 
top eight major caliber teams, which is crazy to think about how crazy that region is. But, you know, Leo and Big Boss, the only Mexican representative team here today trying to rep, you know, for the country, able to you know, maybe take the, the first game, maybe take the set and kind of maybe get a losers run started for sure. I think so. Already they're looking poised to do it after that first game. Like I said, the confidence, the comfortability, and just the presence of mind that they had in that first game was unparalleled for sure. But oh, hold on. Wait a minute. That's going to be in. Whoa. <laughs> And as soon as we say that, we we're I, I was just gushing over, you know, you know, the boys from Mexico, but you know, Lima was like, wait a minute. Hold yeah, the phone. Yeah, hold on. I got a little something. <laughs> hold the phone. And a little something to say the least. Fantastic early stock and what a wonderful combo from both red team members, honestly. It definitely was a little bit of a, a team effort, if you will. Yeah, definitely a team effort for sure. You know, Lima kind of coming in clutch, right? Obviously has that mobility with Bayo, has those combos on lock for sure. And, you know, Bayonetta not his problem. That's the stock. <laughs> that's a good buy. <laughs> it's like mid-sentence. Mid it's like, yeah, that's it. So that is exactly what the blue team specifically looks for. The more you find those, like, that kind of constitutes to their success for sure. So, you know, we haven't seen those a lot, but this could be the start of something for sure if they're able to find those situations what yet again. craziest bat for them. Somehow dodging the Rob up smash. Red team trying to find some footing here and even it up. Blue team still putting the pressure on the ledge. Finally an opportunity for the reversal. Unfortunately, right there. Like the idea, but the early recovery edge yeah, not. Gonna find the mark, unfortunately. Oh, hold on, hold on. Yeah, Big Boss still playing kind of the stock tank role yet again, but against Lima, are you gonna be able to hang on a little bit longer? Yes, you are trying to find a combo going right here. Ooh, okay. Yes. Up until it's a good idea. It's going to fade out that down special into the up air. And unbelievable. Another up air pickup. Fantastic verticality from Big Boss. But good response. Good stuff from Chase. Yeah, great stuff for sure. But, man, what a what a call out right there from Team Mexico. Back to even in Mexico with a little bit of a stock lead right here. The blue team coming in a clutch right here. Trying to find something going. Finding a, a hit off the chase. Leo maybe repositioning a little bit. Maybe Big Boss saying, hey, I got this. You know, I'm doing okay. Leo uh, might need to try to find some footing. He does have another stock, so that's probably why Leo is maybe not as admin of protecting him as much. Right, right. So, but regardless, you know, and Leo's holding his own against Chase already at 118. Potentially could be the last stock right here. Great tech from Chase. One more hit onto, onto Chase. That could be the 2v1 against Nina. Good stuff, the red team. Finally answering back right now. Leo just had so many fantastic conversions with the Mithra, and what a pickup. Oh, my oh God. My. The follow-ups. Yeah. yeah, they're ready. And you know that Leo is one of those one of those players who, you know, not to be disrespectful, no, but ahead. he is very – no, I'm, I'm going to say he is not, a, not, not intentionally right, being right. disrespectful, but he's out there with those crazy follow-ups. True. Gets the, like – you, you can just be walking around having, you know, just minding your own business, and Leo just randomly comes and there spikes you. Right. You know, just from the ether just comes <laughs> out and just hit, hits you. Yeah, it's Damn, uh, bad. That's the, that's the classic Leo for sure. Right, uh, right. You know, you just go back and watch the tapes if you don't believe me, right? <laughs> so it's like, you know, for those of you at home, just look up Leo doubles, and you just see the craziest clips <laughs> from him for sure. So One um, thing I think that's super important, too, is, like, we're seeing that Pyramithra, and he's sticking with it. And I think maybe it was a little bit too late in the last time we saw it pulled out to try and go for the entire reverse, you know, 3-0 at the time. But it's looking very good in this set, and I think if he keeps on it for the rest of the run, we could see a reset perhaps, but, you know, let me not get too ahead of myself right now because that's another fantastic Lima combo on a big boss. The red team is not out of it quite yet. Yeah, and again, this is what we talked about, right? That individual player matchup where, you know, Lima is going to have, you know, a field day just dealing with Big Boss. Leo kind of having to reposition just to make sure that he doesn't lose that stock early enough. But so far, Chase is also providing that wall where it's like, yeah, I know what you're trying to do. I'm going to deny you this positioning right here. Ow. Finds the, yeah, finds almost a double kill. You know, obviously not enough percent onto Leo, but yeah, great opening from the red team. Really good pickup. Lima kind of just putting the pressure onto Big Boss, but still finding that hit on Aleo and really great capitalization. But speaking of capitalization, Blue Team taking that pickup just as soon as they got it, cashing out with the stock, and Leo holding on to that first stock just as Lima is keeping it even right now. Ooh. 
Yeah, trying to find something right here. Maybe trying to force, uh, you know, Lima in the air to find that Rob up here, but nobody home for it. Leo trying to, you know, maybe control the space on the ground to give Big Boss an opportunity to land. Not able to hold on to the first stock, though. The red team continuing to show signs of life. Kind of how we saw in the last set where, you know, the, you know, down 2-0, the losing team able to kind of bring it back. We might see a repeat of that this time around. Just might, but that up air is a really good option for Big Boss. Opportunity here. Their team combos have been so fantastic, but great defensive options from Louis, and they are striking back right now. So far, the combo onto Big Boss going to prove to be successful. No, Rob Big. You know, the agenda coming back, you know, it ended up saving him this time around. And Leo again having to save him this time specifically because he was at such high percents. But the back throw ended up going to get the stock anyways. So, you know, Big Boss have to, has to be careful. Last stocks, slight advantage for the red team, not wanting to be denied, not wanting to get 3 0'd. Wants another chance at this a potential, you know, uh, you know, advancement in the bracket. Yeah, they're trying right now. You can definitely tell Lima is on the front for Big Boss right now and it is definitely making a difference. A lot of damage out of nowhere basically and okay good capitalization for the blue team could have been a bit of a rough scramble for them but yeah still making it happen and we're sort of back into even territory as well so great momentum shift from the blue team are you going to be able to hang on to this stock though no you have to find this lot this second stock on the lima just to have a fighting chance or you know just get a crazy combo onto chase and that's Whoa. exactly what we're going to see right there and that's exactly what it is lima onto the 2v1 against Leo and Big Boss. Are we going to find potentially something here or are we going to get a spicy combo from, you know, Team Mexico? Unbelievable. You said either or and they said we'll take both, like yeah. very comfortably. And now 79 and counting, like Lima already probably not going to survive one Goodbye. more pirate hit. <laughs> Shake my hand. Actually not that one. Shake my hand. That was As soon as I saw the grab, I was like, uh-uh. Yeah. Shake yeah. my hand. 